Hey, welcome back to our channel. If you've got a 1967 to 1972 C10 pickup and you're relocating your gas tank from in behind the cab to the very back of the truck, you should watch this video. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So here's a little sneak peek of what we're gonna be installing. So you just push up here, pull your taillight open, and then you've got your filler right here. So you unthread this, and then fill up your gas when you're done. cap back on and shut her up. So to get your taillight fuel filler up into the spot where it needs to be, there is a lot of material that needs to get removed on your factory box panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some die grinders, some zip discs, and an air saw, and we're going to remove majority of the material that goes in behind here to make up for the room that this box takes up. Plus also you need to route your, your plumbing for your tube. So there needs to be lots of room for that. So let's crawl underneath and I'll show you kind of majority of the stuff that needs to be removed. So while I'm under here under the truck, I'm gonna follow this rear cross member into the corner here. And what needs to happen is this material needs to be removed. So you're able then to slide this assembly up underneath this pocket in behind where the tail light goes. So I'm going to pre-mark this. I have the ability to remove this cross member. Now you might not be able to, but the steps are very similar. So let's go ahead and mark everything where it is right now. We'll pull this cross member out and we'll start cutting. So I've taken a paint pen and I've actually marked where the box panel rests on this rear cross member. Now I can go ahead and remove the tailgate. I can remove this rear cross member and I can remove the necessary material to get in behind here and slide that assembly up in here. While I'm here, I'm also going to pre-mark some more material that needs to get removed. So this assembly has a built-in lip here that is actually gonna get tucked in behind this lip here. So what you can do is you can take your paint marker and I'm gonna mark right along this edge here. And I'm actually going to remove this lip here. And also on this side, same thing. I'm going to move that lip the assembly to butt up into on this edge. Although this might be a little bit difficult to see in the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint pen, I'm going to keep nice and parallel to the taillight opening. I'm going to go across here into this corner and then in that corner I'm going to go directly down I'm going to scribe a line of this cross member where I'm going to cut and then I'm also going to cut along this edge and as soon as I remove this material here you can see that better as soon as I remove all this material you'll see that I have better access to this very back lip. Now we do have to go out back fairly far. So from the edge of the tail light, back as deep as this goes, from here to here, what I found is it's best this lip here. And again, it's a little bit hard to see right now, but as soon as I start cutting, you, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about and it'll make more sense. I can see that these uh, hinge bolts are going to get in my way. So I'm going to remove those with the two 3 8 bolts that are 
attaching the, the hinge to the box panel. So let's take those out. Now that I have the rear cross member marked out, I'm gonna lift the back of the box and I'm gonna drop out this rear cross member. Now, on your particular application, you might not want to or not be able to remove this cross member, but on this particular truck, I am starting with a brand new box, so I have the convenience of that. So let's lift this box up and drop this cross member out. Now that the cross member is removed, I got a lot better access to this, uh, this box here. So I'm gonna take my air saw and or my zip disc and I'm gonna cut along this line here. I'm gonna cut along this line here. And I'm actually going to remove this entire inner structure. So let's get cutting. Okay, so I took my air saw, I cut it along here and I cut along this lip. Now this is fairly close to coming off, other than if I was to drill these spot welds, I could remove this outer piece and detach it. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my air saw and I'm gonna start cutting up here because I have easy access to it from where I'm at. And then I will cut up as high as I can with the air saw and then I'll go in from the tail light and I'll continue up where I marked prior. So let's cut that. Okay, I'll drill these two spot welds out and then remove this tab. Okay, now that I got that tab off, I'm gonna go ahead and take my air saw and continue cutting out this. At this point, if you do remove this tab and this tab, It'll give you more access to the back side of this pocket. So I'm going to cut those off right now. Cut this side. Okay, so like I mentioned, I cut across here with the air saw, nothing too fancy. Just gotta get this, this piece out of here. So now that the piece is out, let's go ahead back to the inside of the tail light and continue to cut up so we can remove this piece here. In the corners here to finish off your cuts, you can get creative. I'm going to go ahead and take a drill bit and drill each corner and then take my air saw and then join that and I'll remove this, this piece here. That's how it's done. But we're not done yet. What we do have to do is the last thing that we have to cut is we have to get in here, go back a little bit and then down. And like I was saying earlier, now that that piece is out, there's a nice little ridge that we can cut along right here with the air saw. And that's what I was showing earlier is actually this is that ridge. So let's take the air saw, cut across and then down. And then we're done for cutting. Okay, we've got all the metal removed that we had to. What I'll do now is I'm gonna clean up all my edges. So I've got a couple of uh, drill holes here that I'm gonna take the die grinder to and smooth that off. I'm also gonna get in here and, and clean off some of this, uh, this uh, 
e-coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up and we're going to be getting ready to put the tail light filler in place. I've got all the sheet metal cleaned out so now I can go ahead and take this entire assembly and tuck it up underneath the box panel here and slide it up. And what I'll do now is I'm going to center this tail light in here and start mocking it up. You are going to need a set of taillights for your fuel filler. What I would suggest is hopefully on the website you found these sequential LED taillights. They have both left and right turn signals and a marker light. To switch the pattern from left and right on the very back side there's a small micro switch where you can just change it from left or right. When mounting this tail light, you're going to want to hide the wires. So my plan was to take these LED tail light lenses, I'll make a small notch in the lens, then I'll be able to tuck in the wires nice and flat against the lens. I can then cut off this plug, I'll extend them to however long I need. I can then take my lens, mount it onto the tail light housing. I'll then drill a small hole in the very base of the door and then I can run these wiring right through the bottom. And the nice thing about that is when you open your tail light door, you won't see any of the wiring. It'll all be hidden underneath this flap. I have these LED sequential tail lights installed and what I've noticed is that when this door flips open you need to make a relief cut on the very bottom of the box panel to make room for the tail light to clear. So I'm going to remove this tail light, the tail light assembly and then I'm going to take a die grinder and open up the opening at the bottom here. So let's do that next. The best way to determine the centering of the tail light is by mounting it onto the, the tab here and making sure you have ample clearance on the very bottom here. I'm about ready to weld this filler in now. I've got it situated in a good position. I went ahead and I drilled some holes so I can plug weld it into the filler and sandwich the two pieces of metal together. I have a few tacks on here now, so on the top and on the very bottom. What I'll do is I'll test fit my tail light one last time before I weld this in fully. Fits good around here, and then the bottom's got lots of clearance. So when the tail light dips down past the body line. So now we can pull the taillight out one last time. Let's weld it up fully and we're almost done. I finished up all the welding. Next is I'm gonna mask off the hinge. And I'm gonna prime this until I'm ready for paint and bodywork. So I've marked on this cross member where the box panel rests. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut here with a zip disc and I'll remove this material so I have enough room to send the fuel filler hose through this cross member and then to the fuel cell. So let's start cutting.
All right, I've got my cross member in now, and I'll go ahead and I'll do a couple tacks where it meets the box panel. And I've got my gaps real nice on my tailgate, so let's buzz it up. So there you have it. All that's left is running a fuel line from the tail light all the way to the gas tank. You can find these on our website at ls-fab.com. Thank <laughs> you.